Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who not only created us and loves us, but a God who has provided everything we need to navigate this life well. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. As I read these words, I'm reminded of how uh, gracious God is and how uh, God wants to develop us. He wants to transform us. He wants us to, to make us more like Christ and more for his kingdom, uh, not just for his purpose, but also for our, for our purpose, for the idea of helping us to have peace and hope and love. And so we do come up against these things. We come up against temptation. Uh, the devil is certainly always there to tempt us to uh, try to get us to falter in our walk with the Christ. Uh, but God has always provides a way. Uh, God has promised in this verse that there's no temptation that we have to give into. In fact, we believe uh, that through the process of sanctification that uh, we're no longer bound or slaves to sin, but that we overcome sin uh, because of God's grace and that we don't have to sin. That's all part of this. Uh, Think in terms of we can live a perfected life, um, being perfected meaning the purpose that we've been created for without sin. Um, and and there's this, well, there's this idea out there that you have to sin, that somehow in word or deed every day we sin, and yet it's not what we truly believe. We believe in a God who not only provides forgiveness, but provides a way that we don't have to sin. Uh, that all temptation can be set aside. Now, that doesn't mean it's easy. doesn't mean that... At times, we may not fail. Um, even as mature Christians, we can still fail. We can still have things that we're, we're struggling with. Um, and, and so that's not to say that that we're going to be perfect from here on out. And certainly, we're going to be tempted from here on out as long as we live in this body. So we understand that the temptation is always there. But we can live a life free of sin. We can live a life that says, I no longer have to sin because I'm not a slave to sin. And to not be a slave means we're not bound to it. We're no longer have to do it. Um, and so this verse reminds us that, that God has provided so that we can overcome. God has provided so that we no longer have to do it. Now, oftentimes we don't think in these terms, but uh, I would say that in, some, in, in most cases, every person is addicted to something. Um, for some people, uh, we look at addiction as a horrible thing when they're addicted to drugs or alcohol, um, cigarettes, things that are harmful to the body. Um, um, you know, pornography and other things in that category. But we would also say that it's not, it's unhealthy to be addicted to food. Um, many of you know, I struggle with food, you know, my, my whole life or my weight, my whole life. And, uh, finally with, you know, the help of some doctors and, and the right help, I'm at a, p a point where uh, I like where I'm at. And I think that I'm eating certainly in a more healthy way for my body, uh, but still something I have to work on for the rest of my life. Um, but there's other addictions. We can be addicted to our phones or TV or, or the internet or, you know, whatever the case, anything uh, really that we have to do, uh, we just can't miss, can be a, a form of addiction. Uh, and so we, we want to look at all these things in our life and give them to God to recognize that, uh, you know, temptations come in many forms. Uh, what we don't want to do is to, is to give in to them. And so what we do is we commit ourselves to God and recognize that under his lordship, under his leadership, we no longer have to be addicted to anything. Praise God for that. Today, I just want to encourage you, whatever you're struggling with, um, if you are struggling, or if just temptation comes your way, let's just be reminded that we don't have to give in. The devil's going to tell us we do. Our, our, our being, our addiction may call us to it, um, but we don't have to give in. Uh, we too can have the power of God in our lives to save us from it. And of course, through sanctification, we believe we've been set free. So praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that we don't have to give in to sin, that you are greater than the sin in our life, that you not only provide forgiveness, uh, but that you help us to overcome. Father, help us to live out our lives today for you in such a way that, that models and shows that we don't have to give in. Father, for those who've given in, Father, may your forgiveness, as it does, uh, take care of it, as we, we know that the death of Jesus on the cross uh, took care of all sins. But Father, help us that we would not sin just because we can, but that we would live lives of holy holiness, uh, lives of prosperity, lives of hope that you provide uh, in your kingdom. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. And may you use our lives to be a blessing to others. Uh, may uh, you become less as we 
May we become less as you become more in our lives. And may others want to have what we have uh, in your grace and your love. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this wonderful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. Uh, God loves you. Uh, big encouragement. You don't have to sin today. If you do, of course, God is still there. But let's do our best to serve our Lord. And may his light shine in our lives to, onto those around us. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.